Understanding the phrase, was MIA, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our English learning channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss. The phrase, was MIA. Whether you've heard it in a movie, read it in a book, or came across it online, it's a phrase that can be a bit puzzling if English is not your first language. So, let's break it down together and make sure you can use and understand it perfectly by the end of this video. MIA stands for missing in action. This is a military term originally used to describe soldiers who cannot be located on the battlefield and their fate is unknown. It means that the person is unaccounted for and their whereabouts are uncertain. However, in everyday English, we use Mia in a more casual and broader sense. When someone says they were Mia, it means they were unreachable, unavailable, or absent from a place where they were expected to be. Now that we know what Mia means, let's see how we can use was Mia in a sentence. For example, I tried calling you all night, but you were Mia. Sorry, I missed the meeting. I was Mia due to a family emergency. In these sentences, was Mia is used to express that the person was not present and could not be reached at a particular time. While was Mia can be used in straightforward and serious contexts, it can also carry a light-hearted or joking tone, depending on the situation. For example, if a friend was supposed to meet you for coffee but didn't show up, you might say, you are Mia this morning. In this case, it's not a serious accusation but rather a playful comment. And that's a wrap on, was MIA. I hope this video helped clarify what the phrase means and how you can use it in different contexts. Remember, understanding these idiomatic expressions can really help in making your English sound more natural and fluent. So, keep practicing, and don't be shy to use, was Mia, when the situation calls for it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more English learning content. Until next time, happy learning!